trail bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better. Welcome back to Retro Bassin. I spent the day getting the boat ready. I'm gonna take a little fishing trip tomorrow. But in the meantime, as you can see, I had a little bit of mail piling up. So we're gonna weed through some packages that we've gotten, see what's in store, and see if there's anything that I might be able to use for tomorrow's adventure. So as it stands right now, I don't know what exactly we're gonna be doing on the water tomorrow. I know we're gonna go somewhere and fish for something with something. That's about as far as I've gotten. So unfortunately, when it comes to this whole COVID thing, I have not been on the water nearly as much as I thought I was gonna be. Um, I've been on Zoom calls, it feels like every hour, every day of the week. So it's been a little bit tough to get away from that and get on the water. But that being said, I think we're gonna get out tomorrow. In the meantime, I've been saving a little bit of mail, so we're gonna get through it. By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin, and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment, stick around, consider subscribing, and definitely hit that bell icon. That way you know when we post a new video. I did not order that. <laughs> no. Well, there could be anything in there. Okay, this is a pretty cool little bait. I'm gonna take the hook covers off here and show y'all this little peanut. So there was a time when presidential politics were not so polarized that a national lure company could actually make a tribute lure to a president and probably Republicans and Democrats uh, both would buy it. This is a pretty awesome vintage bait from Cotton Cordell called the Prez. It is what it looks like. It is a peanut shaped and colored lure. Um, in tribute to President Jimmy Carter, who was, of course, a peanut farmer in Georgia. Pretty sweet little crankbait. I had fish with this thing, but it's been a hot minute. Um, I don't know, maybe tomorrow's the day for the old Prez. Okay, so this was a pretty much an impulse buy. I have no idea what this thing is called. <laughs> the flashback. You pull the leader and you see what happens. Looks like a pretty sweet fish. I think this is a top water, if I, I do recall correctly. Um, it breathes scent, it flashes. See back for details. Okay, so there's the back of this package. You guys are seeing it, by the way, for the first time. I haven't seen this thing yet. All right, so it's a great top water lure. You pull the leader. And I think that spins, um, looks like a blade on it, and it has an opening that allows scent to escape. Huh. Well, since this thing's already kind of falling apart, let's check it out. Okay, so here we go. So this is a topwater lure of some sort, and it's got this leader. What happens when you pull it? No idea. The gill openings make it look like it's breathing, so it pulls water in here. Okay, so somehow when you pull this leader, water gets pulled into this, and then I guess shot out the back. That is one of the craziest gimmicky things I think I've ever seen. Um, but it's got a weird spinner on it too. Wow, that is a plastic nightmare. And I'm gonna fish with it. Box in a box. 
Ooh, that looks like a dealer box for Vortex Lures. Okay, so the high-tech lighted lure. And it's also clearly in a color selector model, so you know that it's gonna work. <laughs> okay, I think this is a dealer box of, oh nice. Little top water vortex. Ooh, I love, by the way, you don't see a ton of black shore minnow top water baits anymore, but one of my favorite colors. It's pretty sweet. You think the batteries are still good, by the way? Fire Tiger. And a little Tennessee Shad action. Nice, I don't know that the battery's gonna work, but I might have to rip open one of these and head to Walgreens and maybe get some batteries to see if this thing still works. I think they have a laser in them, is kind of the deal with these guys. And that laser, when it hits water, the battery and circuit is completed and it flashes. And of course that flash just brings every fish from like, I think it's like a mile radius in to eat your lure. So that's good. Master lock. Oh, okay. I think I need to get the Tower Texas ASAP. Check this out. Uh, another from one of my favorite old school companies, Night Lures, the Beetle 2. I just love that logo, that's awesome. So we've got a Beetle spin here in white, yellow, and then looks like just some jig heads. By the way, don't worry, I did not open the pigtail, I saved it. But I might, I might still open it. <laughs> okay, so I picked up a few more of these. If you recall, just last week, I did the Roland Martin Challenge and I fished with this bait, Captain Jim Strader's Diamond Rattler. And by the way, Roland himself actually did a really cool video about the history of this lore. I had no idea this was his first ever sponsorship. So thank you, Captain Jim, for bringing us Mr. Roland. Captain Jim had a couple of different uh, varieties, by the way. So we had the Diamond Rattler, of course. But then there is this pretty awesome bait called the School Teacher. It looks like a um, jumping minnow of sort. I think it comes with a floating version, which I think this one is, and there's also a diving version, which I imagine probably walks a lot like, I think Rapala's got a sub walker. That's what this thing would be. But this looks like more of a jumping minnow Zara Spook style bait from Captain Jim. If I ever get back to Louisiana, um, I'm gonna catch a redfish on this thing, I promise. What a book. By the way, I totally need my SE knife sharpened because that's like, sad. <laughs> like the worst unboxing ever. Speaking of Captain Jim Strader, here is an old school bass book called simply Fishing. This is the same Captain Jim from the Roland Martin Diamond Rattler. He had his own book, obviously a younger Captain Jim, it doesn't even say captain, so maybe he wasn't a uh, captain yet. So this is a pretty sweet book. I cannot wait to dive into this and check out how to catch some of those with that old gear. <laughs> I saw like one of these online and I kind of had to, had to get it. Can't even see it. Check out that old box. An old school, I think it's new in the package, Shimano Bantam. Uh, this should be a good looking reel, hopefully. 
I just picked up a old school Shimano, it's called a karate stick pistol grip rod, and this is the reel to go with it. So I didn't know if it was gonna come yet. Um, actually, oh, pretty stoked that it did. And yeah, that is totally a new in the package reel. So check that thing out. Look at the sweet lines and that handle. So it's got a push button for easy casting, which is nice. You just <laughs> push the button. Um, that is a good looking reel. Okay, these reels were pretty cool. I don't know what year this one came out. I'll have to dig through the old school Bass Pro Shops catalogs to see. But back when a reel was truly uh, a work of art. So this is the Shimano Bantam 10 SG designed for professional retro bassers. Nice. I'll get this guy spooled up tonight. I will definitely fish with this tomorrow. That, look at that, listen, and by the way, so I've been getting a few comments on the old retro reels. Listen to this. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> so my buddy Tom sent me a link. Um, Tom Lamb from the Retro Bass and Theme Song. He sent me a link to a jacket that um, he thought I might like. And he was right. <laughs> I found an old ad in the 19, I think it might have been the 78 Bass Pro catalog of this really sweet blue vintage jacket with an embroidered bass on, I think, the front and the back. So, <laughs> check that dude out. Oh my gosh. So this looks like an unworn jacket from 1978. With a really sweet. <laughs> oh man. I am 100% gonna be rocking this at the HEB with gloves and an N95. So, um, that's gonna be a good look. <laughs> Tom sent me the link for it. He actually had found two of them, one in his size and one in mine. So, when this whole quarantine thing is over, we're gonna do a little in-studio, live rendition of the Retro Bass theme song. And I've got a hunch that Tom's gonna be wearing his jacket, and if it's not too hot, I think I might wear mine. I feel like the retro bass inversion of Mr. Rogers, huh? Check that business out. Wow. <laughs> I wish it wasn't like 100 degrees in Texas already because honestly, I'd be wearing this pretty much every day. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, sorry we did not get on the water yet, but that is the big plan for tomorrow. So if all goes well, um, I'll be rocking the old rayon blue jacket. I'm going to have my new Shimano Bantam rigged up with some line. And we're going to do a little bit of real retro bassin tomorrow. So until next time, keep the shiny side up, stay safe, and definitely... Fish it old school. Fish it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass.